Chesley Christ, former Miss North Carolina and Miss USA, dead at 30. We're gonna read parts of this article and then talk about three spiritual facts that you and I cannot ignore. Chesley Chris, the 2019 Miss North Carolina, who went on to be Miss USA 2019 and a correspondent for the entertainment news program Extra, has died at the age of 30. Police said that Chris jumped from a Manhattan apartment building and was pronounced dead at the scene Sunday morning. Her family confirmed her death in a statement. And as we're reading and considering this matter let us pray for the family that they will not turn against God that they'll find peace and comfort during this time so that they can know that there is hope in Jesus Christ the family issued a statement in devastation and great sorrow they shared the passing of their great daughter Chesley her great light was one that inspired others around the world with her beauty and strength she cared she loved she laughed and she shined Chesley embodied love and served others whether through her work as an attorney fighting for social justice as Miss USA and as a host of extra but most importantly as a daughter sister friend mentor and colleague we know her impact will live on as we keep on reading this looking at her life we can see that she has accomplished so much things and she's impacted so many people and yet the tragedy still happened why was that chris a former college athlete and a north carolina lawyer who was from charlotte won the miss usa pageant in may 2019 and competed in the miss universe pageant that year when chris was crowned it marked more than a personal triumph why because it meant that for the first time three black women were the reigning miss usa miss teen usa and miss america chris appeared on gma to highlight the achievements the university of south carolina mourned the former track and field student athlete calling her a woman of many talents chris also held an mba from wake forest university over and over again we can see in her life she has achievement she has mba she's a lawyer she won the pageant she has the looks she has the things that people say that that is what you mean by being famous here on earth and yet the question remains why did she take her own life and that brings us to spiritual fact number one do not ever just look at the surface of things because we get to understand that more people are hurting today than you and i actually know on the surface people may look like they have it all together they got the degrees they got the fame they got the career they got the looks they got money they got everything and yet deep down how many of you know that they are actually not satisfied number one we know that it doesn't matter what people look at us the only thing that matters is what god says about us when he looks at us that is the good news we don't have to perform for the people we have an audience of one whether it's in school whether it's your career whether it's your ministry whatever you're doing remind yourself i have to remind myself over and over and over again i have an audience of one it doesn't matter what people are saying what other people are doing it matters only what god says to me when i see him on that day and here's another thing you got to consider if we know that many people are hurting even though they put up a front then we need to know that we get to minister to people who seem to have it all together because you and i we have put on the front before i know i've done in the past but i know that deep down i need the help of god so today we gotta go and minister life to people don't just look at the appearance number two we have to remember worldly fame and success can never fulfill or satisfy you it seems to be a cliche when you hear it all money and fame and success can satisfy you and yet that's the very thing that most people are chasing after in life you and i at one point in our lives we have done that and then we say oh well it's cliche but yet we do it why because it is enticing jesus calls it the deceitfulness of riches and the cares of this life this young woman had the prestige had the education had the looks had the success that the world says you are to have and yet she thought that her life was not worth living when i grew up in hong kong there's a famous pop star back then called leslie chung he was an open homosexual at that time it was not as accepted as today he looked like he had it all he had the fame he was on stage singing performing and yet at the age of 46 leslie chung jumped off the 24th floor of the mandarin oriental hotel a five-star hotel the very famous prestigious hotel that people can stay in he had the money and the fame he went there to do what not to enjoy life but to take his own life this is so tragic guys there's so many people around you and i today who need the desperate hope of jesus christ in their lives and yet they don't know it and sometimes we sit by us and we don't care about it and we argue about all these stupid things that doesn't even matter about doctrine when the world is going to hell and they're dying without jesus christ what are you and i gonna do about it as i think about this pop star year after year his fans people would commemorate him and say oh how much great songs he had what a great performance he did and yet my heart is thinking i don't think he's thinking about any of his 
worthy achievements right now. If he did not repent and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, he's not going to be in heaven and in hell. No one is thinking about their earthly achievements. It doesn't matter how much money they had, what kind of billionaire they are, what kind of things that they achieved, what kind of legacy they left behind. It does not matter if that legacy is not for the Lord Jesus Christ and if they're not spending eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ in his kingdom. And so my heart today is torn when I hear people talking about, oh, all the great men of people in this world who achieve great things. And yet I know that these guys, from the looks of it, they did not repent and trust in Jesus. The only thing I can think about is not what they achieved and the legacy they have on earth. It is what are they thinking in hell right now without Jesus Christ. They're wishing I would have given everything that I have, all the success, all the money, all the fame, all the recognition. I would give all that away just so that I can come back on earth and one more breath to breathe so I can truly repent and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ so I can have life. I can almost guarantee you that is what they're thinking in hell in torment because no one wants to ever go into such a place. And the unfortunate thing is Jesus says that most people are going to that place because broad is the way that leads to destruction and many, many go to that place. And so that leads us to the third spiritual truth. Unless you find Jesus Christ and His purpose for you in your life, you will always be miserable. Unless you're doing the absolute perfect will of God, it's never going to satisfy you, no matter how great that cause is. But you try to help even orphans. But if God is not telling you to do this particular thing, if God's trying to help you do something else, and that you're trying to do this thinking that that's what God wants you to do, then you're going to miss the calling of God. Now, should we help the orphans preach the gospel and do what the Bible says? Yes, of course, do the Bible. This is the principle. If you want to find out what the will of God is in your life, over and over, I've heard pastors say this, start doing the general will of God in your life. What is the general will of God? Well, the general will of God is in the Bible. Go and live a holy life, love God, love others, preach the gospel, heal the sick, cast out demons, and help where you can. And as you do that general will of God, God will start giving you specific directions, open doors, divine connections, people you meet, and you start stepping into your specific call of God in your life. And if you're feeling right now that you're not at the specific call of God in your life yet, then keep pressing on. Keep doing what God has already put in front of you. Because the biblical principle is that he who is faithful with little will also be faithful with much. Maybe you're just in that place where God is trying to train you, trying to develop you, and see if you can be trusted. If you're in that stage, keep pressing on. And so right now, I want to pray for you. If you've ever had thoughts of suicide, with depression, anxiety, and stress, I can tell you that is not from God. Do not say that it's your thorn. Do not say that God wants you this way. I tell you that it's from the enemy. And in the name of Jesus right now, I take authority and I bind the spirit of suicide. Anxiety, stress, depression, I break your power in Jesus' name. Over every person who is watching right now, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, leave them now in Jesus' name. I set you free. Be healed, be free, your mind be made whole in Jesus' name. And as the Lord Jesus Christ has set you free, do this every day. Spend time in the Word of God, spend time in the secret place, knowing that God will protect you, renew your mind with the Word of God, not the things of this world, because this world will give you anxiety, will give you stress, will give you depression. That's all what the world is designed for is to have you look at the things of this life and not look to look at God. But if you look at God, then you'll have peace. You'll know that you're walking in the path of God. You need to know that life is worth living with the Lord Jesus Christ. There's always hope. Never give up because heaven and hell is real and heaven is the only destination you want to be because Jesus has already prepared a place for those who love Him and you want to walk in a narrow path until you see Him. Heaven and hell is so real and if you don't believe it, you need to watch this video right here where I talk about the ex-Buddhist who cut his throat and his belly. He shows a mark and he sees heaven and hell. You need to watch this video right here to know how real the afterlife is and keep following Jesus. Click like on this video and share with people who need to hear it. Until next time, God bless you.